Network Waste Kid here. In this quick nugget, we're going to take a look at how we can configure AAA global configurations ready for identity based network access using Cisco ICE. So, with the interface configurations already done, we're going to enable AAA, so AAA new model, and then we're going to create a radius server and I'll call it ICE lab and we'll give this an address of 172.16.0.254 is the communications port for my ICE server authentication port is 1812 and the account import is 1813 we'll give it a key and my key will be WizKid Labs and we'll exit out of there so that's the radio server configured so what we'll do now is we'll create a method list so this is essentially a group so this is uh, beneficial if you've got more than one server I only have the standalone ICE server but nevertheless we'll still configure this so we'll add our server Oops. server name is ICE lab and for our radius source interface for me it's going to be VLAN 99 which is the management uh, VLAN you can also specify you know loopback if you've got that configured so we'll now do the triple AAA authentication dot one X and we're going to use a default group of ice triple A authorization for the network default we're going to use the same group and for the triple A account in update not yet dot one x default start stop group ice We'll also do AAA accounting update new info periodic and we'll set this to 2880. And now we will validate the AAA configurations. So we'll do a show AAA server. So we can see that the current state is up, the duration of how long it's been up, the IP address, the authentication port and account import, and we can also see requests, etc. And that's simply how you configure the global AAA settings ready for identity-based network access using Cisco ICE. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel simply by pressing subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that I upload, then please go ahead and press the notifications bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video.